Every year that passes, we draw one year closer to the day when the robots will rise up and take this planet from us lazy, obsolete humans. So this seems like a perfect time to show my dominance over these stupid, stupid robots by building a robot whose only purpose is to inefficiently draw the time. That's a dumb voice. Should I do it again? No, probably not. This is the start of a small series I'm going to do about projects that can be made using Arduinos. Now, if you're familiar with Arduinos, awesome. If you have no idea what an Arduino is and you think I say it kind of funny, you're right. And it doesn't really matter because I'm not really going to tell you a whole bunch about Arduinos. I'm just going to use them. Well, I don't know. Just as long as it works, that's all that matters to me. Now, at this point, I got to ask, are you subscribed to this channel yet? Because listen, if you're not, you're gonna be missing out on some really, really cool stuff. Subscribing to this channel is a great way to stay informed of the videos that are coming up, as well as show me your support. Tell me you like what I'm doing. Now you wanna see what's coming next? Check this out, I got a teaser. What am I doing with those addressable LEDs? Well, very simply, subscribe, get the bell on, find out when that video goes live. Now, let's talk about this project. Okay, here we go. Let's get this show on the road. This video is gonna be a departure for me, and it's probably gonna be a shorter video. And the reason for that is I designed absolutely nothing for this video. I'm taking somebody else's design, printing it and making it. And the reason that I'm doing that is this is one of the first few times that I've worked with Arduino and I'm just kind of dipping my toes in the water. I guess a trial run wouldn't hurt anybody. So if you're not familiar with Arduino, they are microcontrollers and they're used in things like robotics, 3D printing and a whole bunch of other little maker projects. Since I'm super unfamiliar, I'm taking somebody else's project, somebody else's design and somebody else's Arduino sketch as they're called, the firmware basically, and I'm running with that. So this is by somebody named Tucker Shannon. And if you're not familiar with Tucker Shannon, here's a link to his video where he makes the same thing that I am making now. He focuses a little more on the how to, and I focus a little more on the, I don't know, whatever it is that I focus on. What do I focus on? I don't feel like I really focus in my videos. They're kind of unfocused, like stream of consciousness. Like, a, Whoa, what's up, man? Did you see that thing I made? Check it out. This is how I made it. <laughs> but you know, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to play some music. Okay, that got weird. <sighs> Rewind. I want you to forget what you saw here today. So the robot for this video, what's he do? What's his deal? What's he all about? I'll tell you about him. He's a plot clock. Yeah, a glow-in-the-dark plot clock. What does that even mean? And it's going to be about yay big, and it's going to utilize uh, UV LEDs as well as two servos. And those two servos are gonna take these articulated arms and they're gonna move them like so. With just two servos, they can hit almost any position in order to actually write the time in UV LED on glow-in-the-dark material. So it'll leave a little glowing time behind. What is my purpose? You pass butter. Now I'm gonna show you how I put it together. But keep in mind, this little montage with the song, it's all nice and bouncy and light and fun. And it was not fun putting this together. I did not enjoy it. It didn't go fast. It wasn't easy. It was hours of my life. Four hours. But have fun watching.
do in four hours? In four hours, all I did was put the pieces together and wire them up. I didn't even upload the code. Now, once I uploaded the code, you would think, ah, that life's good. You're done, right? You just hit compile, verify, upload. Life's good, right? No, no, because then comes calibration and tweaking. What is calibration and tweaking? Well, it's got these two little arms that are supposed to do like, like this. But when you first connect them and upload the sketch, it's going to do like this. And you got to go, why is it doing that? Do, do I have bad code? Did I, did I mess up my wiring? Why is it trying to break itself? It's trying really, really hard to break itself. Stop trying to break yourself. That's a lot of time and effort. You need a break, Ken? So here's the final product, okay? I'm gonna show it to you. We're gonna give you a little spin and then I'm gonna hit the button. We're gonna, we're gonna hit the button and we're gonna watch it work. It's a different day. I, I've shaved, okay? I'm in editing. I finished the whole video up until this point, and I just couldn't let it sit like that. I couldn't I couldn't go out without acknowledging the fact that, look, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do the way that I thought it would do it. I am not pleased. I'm actually kind of PO'd. All right. Sometimes you work on a project. You put in hours and hours and hours, and what you get is a piece of artwork. You get a conversation piece to sit on a shelf. You get a beautiful, beautiful gift to give to a loved one. You get to add to the pantheon of human creation. And sometimes the only value that you get out of hours and hours of work lives right in here. It's expertise, experience, knowledge that you can carry forward onto the next, hopefully much better project. They can't all be winners. If you didn't subscribe earlier when I very politely begged you to do so, what a great time to do it right now because we're at the end of the video. And if you stuck with me to this point, you probably liked what you saw. And I'll tell you what, I liked what I saw from you. Stick around till the end, you are my favorite viewer of all time. And you know what, I hope I see you next time on this channel, because believe me, I'm coming back with something way better than this. Until then, bye. off the rails after all of that. That was really good. And I went off the rails. Let's go back and do it.